Hey Revs, <laughs> I'm here with Professor Carden, one of our summer study abroad programme leaders. First, would you like to introduce yourself and your programme? Sure, um, I'm John Carden and I am an assistant professor of musical theatre here at the University of Mississippi. So where is your program heading this summer? So it's very exciting. Um, we are heading to beautiful Surrey, England, um, to the Guilford School of Acting, which is on the campus of the University of Surrey. And we're hoping to take 10 uh, students or more, um, possibly up to 30. That would be a lot, but it is possible. And uh, we're hoping to head there um, in July and we're going to be there for two weeks. What inspired you to choose Surrey as a destination? Well, I work as a performer in, in the UK every summer. Um, I've worked internationally for many years, and uh, I have a colleague, his name is Julian Wolford, and he's head of the, the top musical theater program in Europe and it happens to be in Surrey. And what are the dates for the so, Surrey program? Yes, the tentative dates are arriving on Sunday, the 20th of July, 2025. And we believe that the, the departure would be Saturday or Sunday, the 2nd or 3rd of August. But individuals, if you're coming to uh, to England, you could use that as a jumping off point to extend your stay in Europe or in the United Kingdom and possibly tour around, or you could come on the front end and then join us at the program. Are there any opportunities while you're in the two week period to travel or is it intensely? So the, the two weeks that we have are, they are on, you are living on campus in accommodations and your room and board is taken care of. On the weekends, there are activities that are outside of the classes. Um, and uh, so it's, it's kind of exciting. We do have a trip planned into London to the West End uh, to see shows and to also go behind the scenes uh, in one of the musicals that's uh, playing in the West End of London. Is there any, any hints about the musical you'll be seeing or is that one set up for debate? Um, I think Julian is looking into that now, um, but it'll, it'll be one of the major musicals in, in, uh, in London. And how does musical theatre differ in the UK uh, from the US, if it does at all? I think uh, I think it's a very I think musical theatre is a very culturally based, unique art form. Um, while people will say, "Oh, musical theatre started in the United States," um, there's a truth in that. But long before we had musical theatre um, here in the United States. Uh, which was at the beginning of the last century, people were actually creating, uh, we had music halls, they had pantomimes, they had a lot of things that were indicative of what musical theater became. But the interesting thing about musical theater is it's global and it's, uh, it's an international art form uh, which really sprang forth from uh, England. Uh, if you look at Gilbert and Sullivan, uh, many would say that those were the grandparents of our musicals. What I find in England is there's uh, the ticket prices are better. Um, it's not as expensive to go to the theater. Um, theater is well attended and uh, it's, it's just a beautiful community to be in. Um, not that New York isn't. Uh, New York has its own special flavor, but I feel that musical theater um, there, you know, many of the, the shows that are in uh, London were actually written by British composers like Sir Elton John, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. Um, a lot of shows that we know today that became very popular Broadway hits like Phantom of the Opera and um, Les Miserables, those all started out in London. Can you describe the workshops that students will be participating in and how they yeah. Uh, will they be working with local um, professionals or theatre companies? So they they will be working with a faculty of professional um, professional artists that are now also working as professors. So I was a professional artist for many years uh, working in the industry. Um, these are also um, professional artists who work in the industry. They work in the West End of London and they also uh, are now uh, working as educators. So we have things like uh, we have a Monday uh, 
through Friday uh, classes. And we have things like uh, in the morning, um, you might start with a tap class and then you might do uh, United Kingdom uh, specified uh, musical theater history. Um, then there's a ensemble singing. And then the next day you might have a ballet class and then you might have lessons for technical singing. Um, so these things all, uh, there are a lot of movement classes. Uh, and then like that first Saturday, uh, there's a London theater trip, which is a matinee and you will meet and greet uh, and some time to like, um, to, to go about London. Now, Surrey is not that far from London. It's a simple, it's a simple, it's I think a little bit under an hour to pop over. So it's, it's very close. But the, I think the thing that's really lovely, if you've, if you've attended the uh, University of Mississippi, we're on what we call a green campus. It's beautiful, there's beautiful trees. And um, I know you're from the United Kingdom and you told me when you came in that Surrey is what? It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. picturesque. It's a lovely campus. Yeah. So how would you describe Surrey? Uh, so I would say it's it's built up enough to where you feel a comfortable vibe. Um, you feel warm within it. However, I would say it's out of the way enough where you don't feel like you're immersed in the London, London culture. I would say that you get a bit of a taste of both, but you can pull yourself in and out as you want to. I think it's a, a lovely, calm place to live as well. You would say that if someone feels comfortable on this campus, they would very certainly uh, feel comfortable on the campus there. Absolutely. Yeah. I would say that I have been to the Uni of Surrey campus and I it's very similar to the one I have at home and this is very similar as well. It's calm, but you also get the buzz of student life. It's a lovely place. Yeah, and that's, that's another thing that is going to be happening is that uh, if you decide that you want to go, um, you will actually be working alongside other uh, wonderful students your age that are from the United Kingdom. How do you think students will benefit from this program? Um, when I was in uni, um, I many summers, almost every summer, I made a, a point of going abroad. And I just think it, it changes your worldview. Um, it gives you a great chance to make friends. I literally made friends back then when I was your age that I am still friends with today. Um, and then it was sort of the stepping off point that allowed me to have a career in Europe and in, in the United Kingdom. So I think it's time, you know, I think the age that a student is in university is the time to build connections and build bridges to, to new experiences, yeah. really so. And do you see it preparing students for careers within theatre and film? I do, and maybe this is a, a, a time where I should mention something um, because you're talking about what does it prepare you for. There's a special option with this program, and that is if you are a rising senior or you're a junior um, or anyone that you can audition at the end of the program, at the end of the two weeks, um, they're going to allow any of our students to audition for their Master of Arts or their Master of Fine Arts in musical theater. But there's a bonus to this because um, the cost of going to the Guilford School of Acting is considerably better value than what you would, in, uh, what you would come up against if you were going to New York University um, to go to grad school. So there's an op opportunity for students to audition for that program. And if you get in, and you attend the program, the Master of Arts is one year, the Master of Fine Arts is two years. So you would leave with a terminal degree. And the other um, aspect of it that's really special and unique that I have not seen in an American program is that uh, if you complete the program successfully, uh, you will get an agent. They, they get you to an agency and they, you, they make sure you are signed with an agent to promote you for um, for work and shows. And you also get a two year work visa in the United Kingdom. And getting, as you know, a work visa when you're from, you're not from the United Kingdom is, yeah. it's not easy. Difficult, yeah. It's very difficult. So that right there would be something if I was thinking about doing master's work, um, would really uh, attract my attention because when I was younger and I was trying to work in the United Kingdom, um, it, it was difficult and you had to go through a lot of hoops, but this really gives you an entree. And then if you do two years, 
um, it could end up being extended or you might decide to come back to the United States if you made that decision. And then the next thing you know is that you have all this international experience that you have on your resume, which will only set you up for success when you come back uh, to the United States. What advice would you give to the students that are interested in this program but are a bit nervous about the studying abroad aspect? I think you want to make sure uh, that musical theatre is uh, not only a passion of yours, that it's something you really want to do with your life um, because, because that's the reason you would do this. You also want to make sure um, that you have the gifts um, that will support uh, your wishes and your dreams. So you want to know that you're able to sing, you're able to act, you're able to dance because those are all the things you will be doing. So I wouldn't say this is a, a, a course of study for someone who is just starting out. Um, this is for people who have been studying the craft here at the university um, or at another place but maybe are now here at the university. I'm, I'm going to be making the journey on this trip because I'm performing in England this summer and I will be there and there'll be another uh, faculty member there with me as well and I, I really hope, um, I think there'll be more forthcoming information. This is a very new, we just got the green light to do this, it's a new exciting um, opportunity and I hope if um, people have the interest in this that you'll really take advantage because I think it's very good value. Um, to have an all-inclusive uh, one price point aside from your airfare it's a really good value of study and you're going to be working with some of the very best um, faculty uh, in in the united kingdom where can students contact you and find you if they have any further questions well i'm i'm always just about because i teach i teach musical theater singing um, I'm always in my office at 304 ISOM. I'm on the third floor. Um, you can also email me. My email is jrcarden, C-A-R-D-E-N, at olmis.edu. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I hope you will come hang out with us. Sounds um, amazing. Because Sounds... You're, you're from there and uh, would love for you to come and hang out with all of us when we do this. I would also love that. Yes. So make sure to not miss out, Rebs. Thank you.